Matrices are one of the most advanced math concepts that appear on the ACT. Despite their potential complexity, questions involving them can be broken down into a few key rules. Furthermore, they appear extremely infrequently. You'll see at most one or two questions on matrices. Keeping that in mind, let's explore matrices and how to manipulate them on the test. In the realm of math, a matrix is a grid of numbers. It is just a way to display and organize a group of numbers. It's described by the number of rows and columns that it has. It can have any number of rows or columns, but you won't have to deal with any matrices that are larger than three rows and three columns on test day. You may be asked to add or multiply matrices. Matrix rule one, adding matrices. You can only add matrices that have the same number of rows and columns. To add matrices, you add numbers that are in the same locations. Start by adding the numbers in the upper left of the matrices, the three and the six. Next, add the numbers in the upper right of the matrices, the six and the one. Now add the two and 13. And finally, add seven and five. You have now successfully added two matrices. Not too difficult, right? Matrix rule two, multiplying. You may be asked to multiply matrices. This can be a little more difficult, but if you take it step by step, then it's not so bad. The first matrix is two by two, and the second matrix is also a two by two. Step one, when you multiply matrices, write out the sizes of the matrices you're multiplying. When the highlighted numbers are the same, you can multiply the matrices. However, if they're different, you can't multiply them. The size of the resulting matrices will be the outside numbers, which in this case is a two by two. Step two, to multiply the matrices, start off by looking at the first row of the first matrix and the first column of the second matrix. Start by multiplying the three and the six. Then multiply the six and the 13. Add these two numbers, 18 plus 78 is 96. Put 96 in the upper left corner of the answer matrix. With putting so much work into finding one number, it's a good idea to check your answer choices at this point in the problem. You can eliminate answer choices that don't have a 96 in the upper left corner. Now it's time to work on the next number in the answer matrix. Let's look at the first row of the first matrix and the second column of the second matrix. You multiply three times one and add six times five. Go ahead and put 33 in the upper right corner of the matrix. Now that the first row is complete, move to figuring out the second row. Look at the second row of the first matrix and the first column of the second matrix. Two times six plus seven times 13. Add 103 to the bottom left corner. Almost done. Now you need to look at the second row and second column. Two times one plus seven times five is 37. Go ahead and fill that in the bottom right of the answer matrix. You're done. Sure is a lot of work for only four numbers. Wow, matrices can be some tough stuff, but don't worry. Remember, this is one of the most difficult math topics on the ACT and will only appear one or two times. Even so, let's maximize your score and make sure you really understand them with some guided practice.